there was a fire alarm that went off at 3 a.m. and I didn't feed them or anything so I'm not sure how that happened and the sunlight feels different on you as well but yeah the discord has been fun and your girl does not know anything about voguing so let's pick hello everyone welcome back to the channel if you are new here hi welcome so glad to have you here it is Tuesday 10 39 a.m. and let's see what sort of Pokemon show up. So I did not film yesterday. I wanted to, but Sunday night, there was a fire alarm that went off at 3 a.m. So my boyfriend and I had to walk a lot of flights of stairs to go to the lobby. Luckily, it wasn't anything serious, but that was not fun. <laughs> and I guess through the entire fiasco, my game decided to stop tracking my sleep. So it only tracked 21 minutes of sleep. So when I woke up, I had the worst sleep score. It plummeted my sleep week score to E. And I didn't find any of the boosted event Pokemon. So kind of sad. Especially because Sunday nights are like when your jowzy power is at the strongest it could be, so yeah, I just feel like I was robbed, you know? So none of these Pokemon I want to catch, so we will just end snack time and hopefully our luck will be better. during our nap session today. Also, my sleep research EXP and Dream Shard yesterday was not what it could have been due to the issue I had with the sleep tracking, but it is what it is. So we got five diamonds. Nice. I haven't caught anything interesting either during my sleep, my nap sessions. So not really much of, oh, he got bigger. So much, not much new to share with you guys in terms of like new Pokemon I caught, but I did realize I forgot to show you what they look like, so I'll do that soon. Also, Sunday evening, the weirdest thing, no, Saturday evening, the weirdest thing happened, so my Pokemon were like unhappy because they were like very low energy, right? And right before I went to sleep, I noticed there was a boost in their energy and it went up to like the smile, the face under the green smiley face. So they were like a little more than halfway energy remaining. And I didn't feed them or anything, so I'm not sure how that happened. But I just thought that was so strange. So let's see what we get today. We got a Poke Biscuit. I got a Energy Whistle yesterday. And I have my Vaporeon on my team. It is Salad Week for me. And my Vaporeon is just not triggering the main skill as much as it used to. It kind of makes me sad. So let's make our spore mushroom salad. And let's dump some milk, cacaos, and some leeks. Also, the weather in my part of the world has been so beautiful. Blue skies yesterday. Today there's blue skies again. And it just makes you so excited for spring. I miss that spring air that you get when it touches your skin and the sunlight feels different on you as well. So 
So we are now at Ultra 1, very close to Ultra 2, which is amazing. And my boyfriend ordered some top loader binders for us to put our cards in and I had a lot of fun organizing that yesterday and it's just nice to every now and then open the binder and look through your collection although I wish there were cuter binders available so let me organize this by the most recent There you go. So I caught my swell blue yesterday during my nap session. Won't be using it though. Actually, maybe I can. Oh, oh, my game kind of like got stuck for a minute. But I forget what other ingredients can be available for the 30th and 60th slot, but maybe beans might be good for me. Speed of help is up, main chance is down, but I do get skill trigger on the 75th and 100th, so I'm gonna be kind of late. I like that I have inventory L there, ingredient finder M, kind of nice perk to have. I always do not mind when there's ingredient finder because I just love hoarding ingredients more so than the number of berries my Pokemon can collect although I know that berries is probably the better option and so this is the routes that I caught it is a male so it can only be a Gallade and the main skill is like helps a helper Pokemon do four times more something I forget I forget but it's all apples. It is a quiet nature and these are the skills. So I was thinking, hmm, I could probably make this into a Gallade and see how that works out in my team. This is a routes that I caught earlier last week. So it's corn and then leeks. Also it's female. But, yeah, jolly nature, it's quite sad. And then my Dratini, so it's fiery herbs all across. It is a lax nature and here are the skills. So skill trigger M on 100, gonna be a while before we are able to get there. We got two helping speeds, ingredient finder M is on the 50th slot, skill trigger s on the 25th so hopefully at 25 and 100 it'll help equal out the fact that main skill chance is down for the nature but i think i will invest in this for the herbs which is gonna be great because now that i'm making bigger recipes i do need a lot more herbs and i think explode exploding popcorn requires herbs as well my Gengar right now is herbs, mushroom, mushroom. And it's an ingredient finder, Gengar. So this is the... Oh, I could have sworn I had another Dratini. Or maybe it's going to come later. Caterpie, we will not go through that because we don't really care for that right now. But this is the first Dratini that I caught oil in the 60th slot and it's also a lax nature but compared to the sub skills of the other one i prefer the other one and the fact that i also just get herbs so that is nice a dedicated herb farmer oh here is my it makes me sad though that i don't get all the corn but you know what nine eggs is pretty nice since i don't have an egg farmer 
although it's a timid nature which sucks but i named him winston because i thought it would be cute and yeah that is my catches of last week still looking for a good stuffle a routes that i can make into a gardevoir and i'll be happy and then we have the valentine's day event which is very fun now we have bundles coming up and there is also a notice of maintenance so preparation for valentine's day the two new drinks desserts a feature that allows researchers to check their recipes at any time from the cooking pot on the home screen very excited about that and then in addition of a feature that allows researchers to extend the effect duration of the good camp ticket i still have one good camp ticket that i'm holding on to so i haven't used that yet and then addition of a feature that allows researchers to use multiple ingredients by tapping and holding on the ingredients while choosing ingredients for cooking and then there's a balance adjustment so they're raising the carry limit of these pokemon very interesting and yep that's what's going to be added to the game and now let's go through our research community tab and see who got lucky also did you guys notice in the very beginning of the video my ditto was a pikachu ditto so it's very cute whenever you unlock new sleep styles they will also show up on that screen when your pokemon is sleeping with you also you guys if you haven't seen in the last video we have a discord server now so for those who want to join the link will be in the description below but it's been so fun interacting with you guys off of this channel congratulations jasmine moon on your shiny ghastly and i'm sorry there's like a cop car outside but yeah the discord has been fun it is very nice to see you guys interact with each other as well especially when it comes to like helping each other out on is this a good pokemon should i invest in this the perfume and fragrance channel is also picking up and then the trading card game channel as well pretty fun to interact there so yesterday my friend and i did our heels dance class in the evening and we are learning how to vogue this class and your girl does not know anything about voguing so it is quite a challenge i definitely need to practice and learn to really sharpen my moves to the beat of the music and add in that flair you know vogue is a lot of attitude oh shiny gengar now is vogue my favorite type of dance style no but it is fun to try something different you know There's also this new bubble tea place that opened recently and we tried it for the first time yesterday and oh my gosh, it is so delicious and I want to get more. I'm hooked. The tea flavor is just so pronounced because I feel like in a lot of chains, you get that artificial tea flavor it's not brewed nicely but this one phenomenal oh 
All right, we are almost done. And that is it. So I'm hoping today at my nap time, I'll be able to find something neat. But it is now time to open two packs. So let's pick one and two. So let's see how lucky I am. So we got this. And then the next one is always an energy card. So I just put that down as well. And now let's see. So this is a phalanx. We got a combi, jigglypuff. It's kind of hard to do it like this. A uh, giraffe rig. Palosand. Palosand. My bad. A gothitelle. A right. A Raichu. And now we got, ooh, a hollow great ball. No. We got a holographic Pikachu. Cute. And a Skeledurge. These will be passed along to my boyfriend. <laughs> Now our second pack. This one down. This is our basic energy. Okay, let's look at it together. Pink urchin. Dino. Magikarp. Slowpoke, ew, so cute. It sounded like I was saying ew, but no, not ew. Dun Dun Sparse. I haven't seen this. All right. Pupitar. And now, so this, oh, Faulkner. Okay, and now I think it's the Hollows. So a Vespa Queen, not bad. A Combi and an Orthworm. So those are today's pulls. No full artwork one, but Combi's cute. And that concludes our Pokemon opening together. So thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And to join the Discord channel, Discord server, if you want to as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Good luck, you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And...